So you're looking for the best way to play retro games on your Fire Stick or on your Nvidia Shield or really any Android device. Now you don't want to mess about trying to configure emulators. You don't want to try and download artwork or all of that manual kind of stuff. What's the best way to do that? Well, in this video today, let me show you a great application which will do all of the legwork for you. It will find all of the artwork, it will configure all of the emulators and really just give you the best retro gaming experience with minimal fuss. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the application in question is called Lemuroid and to get this on your Fire Stick, if you just open up Downloader, and you want to navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can use the short code 53402 and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, click on that and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get Lemuroid on all of your Android devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So we can see the application is compatible with the Fire Stick and also your Android TV devices. It doesn't have any kind of adverts or anything like that. And it supports the following systems. So all of your favorite classics like Nintendo, Game Boy, Master System, Mega Drive, PlayStation is all fully built in. Let's scroll down. And just underneath all of that, you'll have the link to the application. Let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will then download the application onto your device. Let's now press the home key. Now I'm going to do the first part of this demonstration on my Fire Stick. And then I'm going to end up on my Nvidia Shield because as you can imagine for certain emulators like the N64 or the PlayStation, the performance is going to be much better on the Nvidia Shield compared to the Fire Stick. But just to show you that you can play most of the 8 and 16 bit consoles on the 4K Fire Stick. Now here's the application there. Now the application itself will give you all of the emulators, all of the box art. The only thing you need to do is provide the ROMs yourself. Now I can't give you the instructions on how to get the ROMs, but Literally just open up Google, type in your favorite console and just put ROMs after it and you'll be able to find all of the stuff that you need. Now due to the storage limitations and just to make things easier, I formatted a USB drive as FAT32 and I'm using an OTG cable to plug that into my Fire Stick. Let me show you the contents of that USB drive. So I've just plugged in a USB drive into my PC. I've made sure that the format of the USB drive is FAT32. I'm just going to create a folder on that drive and let's just call it uh, ROMs just to keep things clean. I'm now going to drag all of my ROMs into this folder. So here, for example, we can see are my uh, SNES ROMs. So I'm just going to drag that entire folder in here. Let's move that in. That's gone in and let me paste in the rest of my game. So click on paste. And as I said before, guys, it literally takes a couple of seconds. Just open up Google, type in, you know, PSP, ROMs or N64. It literally, you can find everything there. Download them onto your device, put them into a folder, drag that into your USB drive and you're good to go. Let's jump back onto the Fire Stick. OK, so you've plugged in your USB drive into your Fire Stick. Before we open up the application, I'm just going to configure a Bluetooth controller. Now, in my example, I'm using an Xbox One controller, but really any Bluetooth controller that you can pair with the Fire Stick should work OK. Let me now start the application for the first time. So we can see the application looks very basic, not much happening in there. And that's because it's waiting for you to tell it where your ROMs are. So for that, I want to go over to directory, click on that. Now, if you have copied your ROMs onto your internal storage, maybe you've got a device like the NVIDIA Shield or another device where you have plenty of storage, you can actually point this to your internal storage, find your ROMs folder, and this will then scan that for you. But in our example, because we're using a USB drive, we can see it's detected that here, and it is formatted as FAT32. 
I can click on that. Let me now select my ROMs folder and click on select. And what's happening now is if I just move my face out of the way, in the background, it's now scanning that USB drive and any ROMs it finds, it will then configure the respective emulator and then allow you to play it. And we can see guys, it literally takes a couple of seconds and it's now found all of these different ROMs and it's showing us the compatible emulators for it. Now the key or the amazing thing about this application is, as you've seen, I've done nothing else. I've just pointed it to a single directory. But now, for example, when I go into this folder here for N64, it's automatically gone ahead and found all of the artwork for you. And as you can see, guys, it just looks amazing. So none of that manual stuff, no tweaking, no editing, just point it to a single folder and it will do all of the legwork for you. And let's press back. Here we can see on Genesis, it's found those 19 games. And back again, let's go for our favorite SNES. And we can see these games are in here. Okay, so let's for a test now, let's actually start one of these. So let's go for good old Mario Kart. Let's press A. And straight away guys, it's gone in there. And that message that popped up was just telling us that to access the settings, you want to press both these triggers together. So. In fact, let me do that now. And I can now see this menu. So for example, I can now save the state, which will then allow me to go back to wherever I was in this game. I can mute the game. I can fast forward. Now in settings here, we can see if I click on that, there's actually no options. But as I'll show you with some of the other consoles, you can actually tweak some of the settings, like you can have a CRT effect, or you can tweak some of the color settings. Let's back out of that. Let's see if I can actually play something. And here we are, guys. We are now playing Retro Mario Kart using Lemuroid. Let's see what TDUK can do on the track. Yep, all the buttons are mapped correctly. Oh, let's see if I can do a drift. Oh, clearly not. Oh, let's get a power up. And let's do a boost through this. There you go. Look at that, straight into second place. <laughs> so that's SNES. Let's try some Genesis. All right, so this is the normal effect. I now bring up the menu. Let's go into settings and let's put on a, uh, let's try composite back. And we see the colors are slightly a uh, bit mixed up there. So that's the composite. If you really do want to have that sort of classic, you know, retro look, let's try one more. Uh, let's try RGB. Oh, that looks quite good. So that's us playing some Castlevania on the Mega Drive, and that's working absolutely fine. So as I mentioned before, like on, you know, smaller devices like the 4K Fire Stick, um, you can probably do some PS1 games, but any of the heavier stuff, and certainly some of the more demanding games on PSP, you're probably gonna have issues trying to emulate that on the 4K Fire Stick, but on the Shield, for example, it'll whiz through all of those games. So let's now leave this as is, and let me quickly jump over to the NVIDIA Shield. So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield, and we can see on those devices, you can actually get the application directly from the Google Play Store. So let's click on that and click on install. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag retro, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And we can see that scan is now complete. And again, we can see all of that lovely artwork has automatically been downloaded for us. And let's now actually try some of these uh, more advanced systems like PSP. And let's go for Wipeout. And that's working great. Now, obviously, as you guys know, with the power of the NVIDIA Shield, it can easily handle these kind of old consoles and it can even upscale the graphics. So this is the default settings. Let me now press the two triggers. I can go into settings and go to resolution. Let's actually now bump that up to, uh, it looks so much nicer now. And the shield just handles it without any issues whatsoever. And again, when you want to quit, you can just press the two triggers, click on exit or click on quit. 
and I'll then take you out of that game. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think this is a fantastic application, especially if you are getting into retro gaming. It really does make the process so much easier because as long as you can provide your own ROMs, this does all of the other legwork for you and it really does make it a really enjoyable experience. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.